Canister, as long as we're going to be here. Mm -hmm. Canister? Instead of a bag, because a bag breaks and things go this way and then that way, and mm -hmm. it kind of defeats the purpose. Right. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Makes for twice the work. Mm -hmm. And then there's enough, something else that just doesn't get done. Vivian. Yes, ma'am. What on earth are you talking about? A vacuum cleaner. We need a new one with a canister. Do I look like the sort of person who knows anything about vacuum cleaners? Do I look like the sort of person who knows the difference between a bag and a can... Ister, Ister, canister. Right. Okay, canister. Mr. Clarence, I presume, I will run that by Mrs. Wheeler. What is it, Vivian? Felicia Gallant is downstairs wishing to see you. Felicia? I wonder what she wants. What does she want? Don't worry, just show her up. It's a big thumbs up, Mr. C. Well, this should be fun. How much fun could it be? You hate each other's guts. Look, Felicia and I have had our differences in the past. That's what I mean. You hate each other's guts. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. I'm not catching you at a bad time, I am, am I? Oh, yes, yeah, simply terrible time. We were just discussing vacuum cleaners. Ah. Uh, Vivian, why don't you take Miss Gallant's coat? Ah. So, what's it gonna be? The canister model or what? Well, if in your opinion the canister is better than the bag, yes, I think you should order the canister. Great, thanks. Well? Well, I'm sure you're wondering why I came over here. I'm dying to know. I know I'm not your favorite person. Actually, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. And I've decided that it's time that we bury the hatchet. You've decided, have you? Lucas is a good friend of mine, Iris. An old friend. And I want to keep that friendship. I see. So I think the least that we can do is try and be civil to one another. Oh, but we're being terribly civil to one another. Drink, Felicia? Yes. Thank you. Actually, I was talking more long-term. Well, now you've really got me intrigued. Brandy or scotch? Brandy. Thank you. Intrigued by what? By your sincerity. I mean, I wonder about your sincerity, because I know you disapprove of Lucas's decision. Oh, well, I totally understand why he wants to go ahead with his marriage. You do? Hmm. Given the fact that I have a happy marriage myself. And you think that's why he's marrying me? All I'm saying, Iris, is that I totally accept that this marriage is going to take place. I just don't want there to be any more bad feelings between us. You know, I'm having a little trouble with this. Well, that's okay, because, uh, frankly, I'm having a little trouble with it myself. Well, I admire your frankness. Good. It seems to be a quality that I just can't rid myself of. Mm. Just, uh, what do you hope to accomplish? Smoother waters. I have a feeling that our paths are going to cross a lot more frequently now. Perhaps. So I think that we need to work on our relationship. <laughs> you, you want us to be friends? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we ought to take it one step at a time. Good. So do I. Good. Thanks for the drink. Felicia. I really wish you would try to be happy for Lucas and for me. Oh, I'm going to give this one hell of a shot. Great. I was hoping that's what you'd say. Because you give the most fantastic parties. Parties? Mm-hmm. And Tops is definitely the place to be these days. Iris, you're the pearl mesta of this town. The Iris Wheeler Winter Ball, the Iris Wheeler Gala, remember? Yes, but I'm going to be so busy now, and... You know, planning an engagement party takes so much time. Are you saying you want me to plan your engagement party? Oh, I'd love you to plan our engagement party, would you? It would mean so much to Lucas. What do you say? You're on. All right, Stacy, I didn't hire you. Stacy's my partner. Stacy accepted. If she's planning on dropping me, I'll hear it from her. 
Hey, I'm the senior in this firm. I decide what clients we take on. Did you happen to tell Stacy about this? I have to think about this firm and the kind of damage you can do to it. I can get you the publicity you never dreamed of. Yeah, right. Bad publicity. I want us to be known as reputable. Reputable? You're refusing to defend an innocent man? That's not reputable. You're a lot of things, Lucas, but innocent is not one of them. Now, excuse me. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm not going anywhere. Get out of here. If you want to get me out of here, you better get some help. No, I'm not going to need any help whoa, to get whoa, you hey, out of here. Hey, guys. Guys, what is the problem? He is. I can handle this, Frankie. Yes, I know you can. And I know you can, too, but I'm nosy, so humor me. Okay, What's going on? Okay, okay. Cass here, he thinks that he he's the scales of justice. Stacy accepted my case and he wants to drop it. It's dropped. Cass. What? May I speak to you for a moment? Excuse us. Hey. Bad move, Counselor. You're not gonna cop any pleas for this guy, are you, Frankie? You're gonna go behind Stacy's back to get it, Lucas. That's terrific. She knows how I feel. Listen to me, Cass. A, Stacy is going to be very angry if you go behind her back like this. B, over the past couple of months, I have gotten to know Lucas pretty well. And he's treated me very well. He's done Frankie, some good things for me. Frankie. Listen to me. He has done some good things for me, even when he had every reason not to. And beyond that, way beyond that, I cannot believe that you would deny that man the chance to get the best representation he could get. Isn't that what the law's all about? I really hate it when you're right. Yeah, I know you do, so sue me. You gonna let Stacy represent him? The cooler head has prevailed. We will represent you. Thank you, Frankie. But if you're not straight with Stacy, if you hurt her in any way, I'll come looking for you. Bye, Frankie. See you later, Lucas. Thank you, Cass. Well, you had a point. A couple of good points, actually. And if we're going to be together, work things out, I, I, I have to listen to what you have to say. No, you don't have to. You're right, but I want to. <laughs> Isn't that something? What? <laughs> well, no lightning bolts, no sprinklers going off, no cops busting in. We must be making progress. Tell me about your family, Kent. There's not much to tell. Ah, skeleton's in the closet, eh? Mom, don't cross-examine him. I don't mind. How am I going to find out anything about him if I don't ask him any questions? That's right. Jamie! 
party! You started the party without us! Oh, come in here and say hello! And here I thought you'd all be sitting around expectantly just waiting for our entrance. What an ego! Mm, how are you? We thought you weren't even going to show up and you waken hey. Stephen and got him all dressed up and everything. Oh, I wouldn't wake him up, would I? You look great, Mom. So do you, sweetie. How long have you been in this house? And give me a kiss. Not long. Mwah. Grandma, you're as gorgeous as always. You too, gorgeous. <laughs> Stephen, you've got some good-looking family here. So where have you been? I snuck in the back and spent a little time with my little son here. Hey, Matt, how you doing? It's about time you got here, Jamie. Have some of your favorite crab dip, Dr. Uh, crab dip! Crab dip. Uh, you mean, Matt, you actually left me some? My self-control was working overtime. They wouldn't let me have any. <laughs> Good to see you, Hilda. Welcome Thank back, you. Dr. Frank. Thank you. Um, you know Ken, don't you, Ken? Sure I do. And you know Stephen, my son, I'm sure. No, no, but I've heard a lot about him. So how have you been? Great. Right. Anxious to hear about your travels in France. Uh, more work than sightseeing, I'm afraid. Now, I was in Rouen myself a few months ago. Really? I didn't get there this trip. No, you should try to get there next time. It's a fascinating city. Extraordinary history. I'm afraid I'm going to um, have to go down to the kitchen, so if you'll excuse yeah, me. me too. Do you want me to take the baby home? Don't you dare. This kid is hanging out with his dad tonight, aren't you, <laughs> big guy? Look at Jamie and that baby. That baby's in seventh heaven. Jamie and Ken seem to be getting along very well. They're just talking about the trip. Alina, don't you look pretty tonight? Oh, thank you. I hope you didn't need me. Everything is going along swimmingly. Alina, I want to introduce you to Jamie. Come on. Jamie, this is Paulina Cantrell. She's Stephen's new governess. Right. Did the two of you meet upstairs already? Uh, uh, no. No, I don't believe we've met. It's a pleasure to meet you, Paulina. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Frey. Look, I know the curse will never let us get together. Here we go again. I am trying to say something important here, Cass. I'm sorry. And are you going to let me have my say or are you going to keep interrupting me? I'm listening. Okay, now look. You are too good a person for me to drop completely. So you're going to drop me in completely? Oh, there you go again. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Look, I've come up with a compromise. Compromise. The curse only applies to the objects of my desire. Mm -hmm. In other words, people I'm in love with. In other words? So, if you and I aren't romantically involved... Are not... Ro go on. Naturally, the curse doesn't apply. Naturally. Well, after all, we did hang out together for months and no disasters hit us. True. It's, it's only when we started getting closer that the bad things started happening. So I would like to go back to the way we were before, you know, when, when I was working for you and we were just friends. Oh, we were never friends. You were an annoyance. I can be that again. Okay, I, I guess we could give that a try. Great. Great. Good. I I'm glad we got that all straightened oh, out. Oh, me too. When do we start? Uh, now? Terrific. I am so swamped, I can't begin to tell you. Here's a pile of contracts. Could you file those for me? Yes, sir. Right away, sir. And listen, you, you never described that old Sicilian grandma to me. What was her name again? Almo. Almo. Right, right. What was she like, this bestower of curses? Oh, did you ever see, um... The Scottish play. Oh, yes. You know, the, the Three Witches? Know it well. Double, double, toil and trouble. That's the one. She was like all three rolled into one. I think she had Eye of Newt with her zucchini. A real old crony, eh? Oh, yeah. Someone you should give a definitely wide berth to. And unfortunately, I didn't do that. Oh, and the ice sculptures. Now, my pastry chef is a bit of a lunatic, but... He really can do wonders with a block of ice. Oh, that sounds wonderful. In fact, okay. everything you've suggested Good. sounds very exciting. Just listen, it's getting late, and I really should call Tops. Um, would you mind if oh, I use your no, phone? Oh, no, not at all. Vivian! Yes, ma'am. Close at hand as usual. <laughs> Ready to do your beckoning. Back away. Vivian, would you please show Miss Gallant to the library and let her make her telephone call in private? Yeah, come on, private. Thank you, Iris. Yeah. Pleasure. I'm sorry I'm late, darling. <laughs> That's all right. I'm getting used to it. Oh, things came up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And would one of those things be Josie? Oh, now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I was talking to Matthew earlier. He was in a terrible mood, and he said that you and Josie had gone off to run some personal errands. Yes, we did. We went to uh, get something for you. Is that for me? 
Well, open it. <laughs> I can't wait. Lucas. It's beautiful. Well, it'll be a lot more beautiful on your finger. Let me see. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, Felicia. Look at my engagement ring. Isn't it beautiful? Stephen's face. He was positively glowing when you were standing there holding him. I was afraid he'd start walking while I was gone, Mom. You won't miss all the rest of the first that he has to give you. <laughs> and there are lots of them, believe me. Oh, it's good to have you home. Mom, will you be coming home soon, too? Um, I don't know. Oh, come on in, everybody. The table okay. looks great. Oh, thank you. It does, Justin. Thank you. All right, thank you. now sit down, everybody. Dinner's going to be served. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. I uh -huh. Okay. No, you can't sit there. It's daddy's chair.